Falling feathers. When you find more than one of something interesting, it's a good time to start a collection. Got it! There's another one! A blue leaf? I've never seen that before. That's not a leaf. It's one of Quack's feathers. Whoa, you're right. There's nothing like a duck in the spring, unless it's a duck in the fall. Hmm. Quack, we found one of your feathers. Impossible. Duck feathers can't get found because they never get lost. Hmm. What? That's mine. Where did you find it? <laughs> Near the oak tree. Hmm, strange. Tap, 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 tap. Very, very bad. Ah! Two more feathers? Mm -hmm. What's going on? You know, Hoot the Owl once told me that birds sometimes lose their feathers. Really? All of their feathers or just some of their feathers? I don't know. I wonder if birds lose feathers like a tree loses leaves. Are you saying that I'll be as bare as that tree? Nope, no way. No, uh, 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 no quack. Where are you going? To save my feathers! Terp, come with me, and Peep, you're my official feather picker-upper. Sorry we started this. One, two, three. Three quack feathers. Quack's first idea was to wrap himself up in a leaf. That way, no more feathers could fall off. Tighter! Tighter! How does that feel? Fine! Perfect! Love it! Quack! Are you sure you can breathe? Yes! Why? Why do you ask? <laughs> ask! <coughs> You just lost three more feathers. I know. <laughs> I need a new plan. Chirp, come on. Hmm. Okay, I had three feathers before, so this makes four, five, and six. the ticket what are you doing a log isn't going to help of course it'll help I feel better already I'll just sit here and not move my feathers and you and peep can bring me acorns five times a day and guard my pond thank you you're in my log sorry but I need this for important duck business well I don't mind if you visit but I have to tell you I snore Stop! You smell! Chirp! What's going on? You'll see. Chirp! Chirp, I need you to get me another log. Exactly like this one, but without the scum! Okay? Uh-huh. And whoa, whoa, 
us. Oh. Now I gotta find a new log. Smells like duck in there. Are you coming out, Quack? Uh-huh. Maybe. Quack went off to his bush. Chirp went to find Hoot the Owl. But Peep stayed behind to count all the feathers. There were six feathers, and now there are seven, eight, nine. Nine quack feathers. Ten quack feathers. I hate the woods. Oh, I really hate the woods. Uh. The deep, dark woods always made Chirp nervous. But she was on an important mission. Hoot, I have a question for you, Hoot. Are you there, Hoot? Sorry to wake you up, but I have to ask you something, Hoot. Are you out? Ah! What do you want? Hi, Hoot. Okay, so I have a friend and he... Stop hopping. It's distracting. <sighs> okay. I have a friend who's losing all his feathers, and he wants to know what he should do. Is it the duck? It's the duck. Ridiculous fellow. Well, it's perfectly simple. He's molting. Molting is when birds lose their old feathers and new ones grow in their place. I'm molting right now, in fact. Anything else? Nope. That takes care of it. Thanks. I'm sure he'll feel better now. Bye! Look at them! Hundreds! Thousands! Fallen before their time. Actually, you only lost ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten feathers! No, 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 no. I'll show you. One, two, two, eight, sixteen, forty-five, forty-five again, seventy-one, one hundred! I think you can only count each feather once, and the last number you count is how many you have. Peep, there's regular counting, and there's duck counting. For duck feathers, you need duck counting. <sighs> Quack, guess what? You're not losing feathers. You're molting. Huh? Hoot says that ducks lose their old feathers and then grow new ones. It's called molting. You know, that doesn't sound like something I would do. No. Well, it's true. Who does molting, too? So, what you're saying is, I get to keep the hundred feathers I lost, and I'll grow new feathers, too? It's not a hundred feathers, Quack. It's ten. Well, it looks like one hundred to me. Even if it looks like a hundred, it's still only ten. Anyway, I guess this means I can go back to my pond. Woo! Keep track of all the feathers you find, Peep. I'll expect a full report. Why do we let him be so bossy? Well, he is our duck. <sighs> right. We are in the park collecting things. Kellen and I are collecting sticks. Nizari is collecting leaves. Eli is collecting rocks. Now we are sorting the things that we collected. These are long and these are short. First I'm taking out big leaves. One, two, three, four. Nizari took out four big leaves. This is a medium-sized leaf. And three medium leaves. These are all my rocks. Eli took out all the smooth, flat rocks. So now I have six flat rocks. Then he took out red rocks, white rocks, and dark gray rocks. I have four different groups of rocks. We are trading our things. I would trade one long stick for three of Eli's smooth rocks. Seems like a pretty good trade. 
Can I have two big leaves? Okay. I gave Nazari a big stick. She gave me two big leaves. Try collecting, sorting, counting, and trading things that you find. Major funding for this program has been provided by the National Science